Now, this is the major difference between solving inequalities and solving equations. And this is just the one thing, but it's when multiplying or dividing each side of an inequality by the same negative number, the direction of the inequality symbol must be reversed in order to produce an equivalent inequality. So, for example, if we look at negative 6 is less than 8. If we multiply both sides by a negative 2, in order for this to be true, because a negative times negative would be a positive 12, negative times that positive would be a negative 16, in order for this to be true, I have to make sure I reverse the inequality sign. So if you look at the first one, and now you look at this one, we had to reverse it. And again, if you look at the example here, whether we're multiplying or dividing, here we divided both sides by a negative, and so... Here we had 6 is greater than negative 8. If I divide both sides by negative 2, I have to reverse the sign to now make negative 3 less than 4. So again, this only occurs when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Must you reverse the inequality symbol. So if we look at this first one, y is being divided by a negative 3. So I have 2y is less than y divided by a negative 3. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative 3. And because I'm multiplying by a negative, I must reverse that sign. And now I have negative 6 is greater than y. Remember, I like to rewrite that. And now the big mouth is eating the negative 6, so I'm going to rewrite it so it's that way. And now I graph negative 7, negative 6, and negative 5. It's going to be open and to the left. On letter B here, we're going to divide both sides by a negative 7 to get Y by itself. And again, I must reverse that inequality sign. And I have Y is greater than or equal to a positive 5. And I go 4, 5, and 6. Again, it's closed because it's just a 5. And then greater than is to the right. Greater than is to the right.